Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Eustar, and this is my favorite game. Batman Arkham City, it's my favorite game of all time. I played it for the first time on Xbox 360 when it came out. Um, I got it from my parents or something. I got it from a family, friend, or whatever on my Xbox 360. Um, and this game had a lot of marketing campaign behind it, right? It was it was super high in like the marketing value, and this game was the game, right? It was the game to get for your you know teenager at the time um it was the game to get for your gamer in your life because it wasn't call of duty and it wasn't battlefield it wasn't like a typical first person shooter this was a batman game and this was an open world batman game that was huge in atmosphere and it had one of the best stories of all time this game was the game to get and so i got it for christmas and i played it like i said i played it through like 20 times on that 360 now i'm playing it through on pc and I'm loving it. I have all the DLC this time, and I would like to note that the Xbox 360 playthroughs I had had no DLC. I played the base game literally 20 times uh, plus, you know, 20 or more times, and I absolutely loved it. I don't even care that I didn't have the DLC. I absolutely loved it because you know what? It was it was awesome. This game is great. It was voted the best action RPG of all um, of the year, right? And it was also voted probably, I think, best game of the year. I know Rocksteady got best developer of the year that year. Um, basically, this was like 2011's version of The Witcher 3, or whenever this game came out, right? 2013's version of The Witcher 3. It was absolutely crazy. This game had so much hype behind it, had so many players, had so much going on, going on it. And it kind of died off. And by that, I mean it didn't necessarily die off in the sense of no one cares about it anymore is that no one really talks about it and I don't know why I really don't I like I said I love this game you know it um it has the best story I've ever heard it has an amazing mechanics the combat system is literally still in use today in things like um, Batman Arkham Knight and uh, the other game that's coming out you know whatever um, things in this game revolutionized the literal generation that we're in right now right the the story is is top-notch and you know spoiler alert the joker dies all right sure but it, it was just crazy how how this game revolutionized and inspired a generation of video games so i thought i'd talk about it and it's a great game i obviously love it and it confuses me where others don't like it as much as i did um, it, it, just, it has a 96 on Metacritic, I think, um, but I mean, out of the two games I've played, this one, um, I mean, out of the two games I've played that I've wrote a developer to, sorry, I kind of mixed up my words, I've played two games and written a develop and written a note to the developer, right? I've played Batman Arkham City, I wrote a note to Rocksteady, and I played Armello, and I wrote a note to League of Geeks, but the only reason I wrote a letter to League of Geeks is because I'm working on a video of that. But this is one of the only games that I've actually talked to the ve developers and and said like your game is awesome, and in Rocksteady's case it was after the uh, whole Arkham Knight f happened on the PC where it just didn't work. I told them I was like you know, I told them I was like you know you guys made great games for I'm sure Arkham Knight's a great game, um, and don't worry about the people who are hating on you. I've rambled enough at this point. I'm I'm here to say my favorite game is usually is usually you know the game that you come back to. And I came back to this game, right? I came back to this game, and I just love it so much. In a sense that your favorite game isn't a good game, um, this game is is not that, right? People say that your favorite game doesn't have to be a good game, um, and it doesn't. But this game is definitely a good game. I absolutely love this game, and that's most of my opinion. But, you know, the story, the characters, I'll never forget. I'll never forget the penguin in this game. I'll never forget Dr. F Dr. Freeze in this game. Or Mr. Freeze, sorry. He was one of the coolest boss battles ever, and he had one of the best storylines in all of video games. Mr. Freeze in this game is perfect. The Joker in this game is insane. You know, um, what's his name? Deadshot was a really cool side plot line. This game had so much writing on it, and that I just it just indulged me when I was when I was um, a teenager and or when I was younger and it just took over not my life but it took over the the idea of what a game could be I played I played Call of Duty up until then I played like like before Batman Arkham City 
Modern Warfare 3 was the best game I ever thought happened, right? I, I thought Modern Warfare 3 was the best game, and this game revolutionized the way I looked at video games, and I said, it said, hey, there's other games out there that are just as good, if not better, than Modern Warfare 3, which, I th again, I thought was, like, the gold standard. So, anyway, that was my favorite game, and with all that said, my name has been Z-Star. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't get to rate, subscribe, and comment, and all that. I want to see what you guys were. I want to see what your guys' favorite games are. Put it in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.